Hello, my friends. Thank you very much for subscribing to our channel. There is a regular tetrahedron, ABCD. Its edge length is M. We take one point on each of the six edges, and denote them as U, V, W, X, Y, and Z respectively. We connect these six points in order, where U, V, and V, W are in the same triangle, and Y, Z, and Z, U are in the same triangle. So what is minimum value of the summation of the lengths of these six segments? Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. Compared with the question we discussed last Friday, although this one seems a little bit more complicated, the idea of solving it is actually very similar. If we insist on announcing that there is any difference, it is that in addition to plotting symmetric figures, we first have to unfold this three-dimensional structure onto the same 2D plane. Now let's unfold it step by step. We first plot the equilateral triangle ABD. And find point U on the side AD. Then find point V on DB. Find point W on AB. In the following, we find point X on side BC of triangle ABC. Find point Y on side CD of triangle BCD. Find point Z on side AC of triangle ACD. Finally get back to point U on side AD. Because UV and VW, as well as YZ and ZU, are in the same equilateral triangle respectively. The situation then becomes the same as the one we discussed last Friday. So we first use BD as the axis of symmetry to plot the symmetric figure of the triangle ABD. And find the symmetry point of U, denoted as P. Then take AC as the axis of symmetry to plot the symmetric figure of the triangle ACD. And find the symmetry point of U again, and denote it as Q. The minimum value of the summation of the lengths of these six segments, is actually the distance between point P and point Q. To calculate this distance, we still need to refer to Pythagorean theorem. It is well known that, when the side length of an equilateral triangle is M, its height is the square root of 3 times M over 2. In the vertical direction, the distance between P and Q is the height of 3 equilateral triangles, which is therefore equal to 3 times the square root of 3 times M over 2. In the horizontal direction, the distance is equivalent to moving a triangle by half the side length, which is equal to half m. Now, we apply the Pythagorean theorem. It is easy to obtain the distance between p and q is equal to the square root of 7 times m. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.